Hey, Boomerang family, it's Dr. Meningas here. We are in a wonderful Half Moon Bay, California, and we're doing an Evolve demo with this wonderful crowd here. Uh, we got Jordan, we got Dr. M here. What is your name, young lady? Kara. Kara? Mm -hmm. Thank you for being our patient. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Kara has our Evolve strapped up. A couple of things that I want you guys to see here. No pain. Is that a correct statement? I don't want to speak for you. That's correct. Yep. Thanks, Jordan. So, um, yeah, no pain on this, right? This is a short list, friends. If your world is anything like mine, and I know it is, it's some version of it, we're sticking people, poking people, stabbing people, lazing people, waxing people, right? Everything hurts in our office. There's a very few things that don't hurt, right? This is on that short list of things that don't hurt. And this is the transform. Now, we were talking about visual indicators. So when I look, I can tell that she is getting close to our target temperature because it may be washed out on the camera, but when I'm looking at this, it's about pink. I'm starting to get an orange here. I know that as I'm getting to my orange and yellow, that is my target temperature. So see how it's a little purple right there? That's indicating that I'm somewhere between 39 and 40 degrees. That's a visual indicator. Meaning, I can strap this on. Hey, you comfortable? Great. Here's your patient call button, call me if you need me. And I just poke my head and check in on, oh yeah, she is at her target temp. That's visual indicators that you can look to from the door. Thanks for that. Here we are at our screen. So this is what Jordan sets, or you as the clinician sets. You get to determine your RF power, your temperature, the time, and the EMS intensity. Okay, and this is just telling us how long our treatment has gone when we're at our, uh, or just our elapsed treatment time. So, uh, Jordan has the RF power at 30 right now. One principle you need to understand, friends, RF power is not an indicator of how good or bad a treatment is. Okay, let me clear up some confusion. RF power of 50 is not necessarily better than an RF power of 30. More is not better. What it is, is your gas pedal, and here's what I mean by that. Remember, our target, our goal, is to get to a certain temperature. Right now, Jordan has that temperature set at 42 degrees. Do you see the cutoff? He set it at 42 degrees. That's the goal, is to achieve that temperature. Now, whether I have an RF power of 30, 10, 40, 50, you name it, I will get to that cutoff temperature of 42. My RF power of 50 is gonna get me there a little bit faster than 30. Does that make sense? So your RF power is not an indicator or a measure of good, bad treatment. It's your gas pedal, how fast do you wanna to get to that target temp? So if you crank it up, you're just gonna to get to 42 degrees quicker. Now, I told you this is a pain-free treatment, and it is, but your patients can tell you they have a little bit of heat discomfort if you crank that up to RF power 1 million. So you see how Jordan started at a certain RF power, and over time, maybe three to five minutes, the clinician, at least in my practice, will stay in there. Jordan, is that what you guys are recommending? Stay in there for three to five minutes, and you just slowly dial up the RF, and that's what makes it very, very tall. You want to let them get preheated. There's a little preheat sequence that occurs when you first start the treatment. Once that preheat sequence uh, completes, you get over, I think it's 37 degrees, mm -hmm. the treatment begins, then the elapsed timer starts. We can start turning up the EMS if they'd like to uh, do the muscle stim. Otherwise, uh, after that point, you can kind of just let them ride. Uh, you can give that patient their little cutoff switch. If you're gonna leave them alone in the room, you have your safety button, you put that in their hand, uh, you push the button, it pauses the treatment, you can resume that treatment just by hitting the play button.